Hello everybody and welcome back on my channel. My name is Alex and today we'll make this part in SOLIDWORKS. This is the body of a safety valve. And we have here the drawing. Here are the dimensions we're gonna follow. Okay, so let's start. First let's open a new part. And here let's make this plane white. And now we'll open a sketch in the front plane. And here select sketch. And now we'll make the next sketch. We'll start with a center line. Somewhere around here. And now let's make these two points horizontal. Okay. And now we'll select smart dimension and we'll give a dimension from this center line to this point. And here will be 100 millimeters. Okay. And now we'll select line. Actually first let's yeah let's select line. And let's make here the next sketch. We'll start from here. Just like this and then up. And here we'll make an arc. And line, line. And line back. And here another arc. Okay, and here line again. Nice, and now let's define this. Okay, so first let's delete this coincident here, if you have it too. Right click and delete. And now, let's see. Perfect. Now we have to make these two lines parallel. Okay, drag this up. Okay, so drag it up like this. And now we'll have to select Smart Dimension. And give here a dimension between these two lines. Here will be 12 millimeters. And from this line, from this point to this point, here will be 37.5. 37.5. And now from this point to this one, here will be 31. Okay, and now let's try to give a radius for this arc. Here will be 12. Okay, let's try to make these two concentric. Nice, select here this point and select here make tangent. Okay. Let's see. And now with smart dimension we have to give a dimension from this line to this point. Here will be 170 millimeters. And then this line here will have 55. Nice. And this line here will have 46. Perfect. Now go to features. Use revolved boss base command. This center line should be selected here. Press it OK. And that's nice. And now let's use mirror to mirror this body. Right plane. Bodies to mirror. Select this body and press it OK. And select here, unselect here, merge solids. Nice. And I'll have to make here another part. And for this we'll have to open a sketch in the front plane. And here we start with a three point arc. Actually we can make a center point arc. It will be easier. From this point until here. Nice, and let's see, this arc should have 100 the radius, perfect. And now we'll go to features and we'll use sweep to boss base command and here we'll select circular profile, here we'll select the path, will be this, this arc. Here will be the, the diameter, the inner diameter will be 75, 75, we'll select here time feature one direction and here will be 12. 
Я сижу, окей. Nice. And now let's take a look inside. Select here section view. Press OK. Nice. Let's close section view. And now we'll have to make this part here. We're gonna make a center line and then this sketch, half of this sketch. And we'll use revolved boss base. So let's do it. And now we'll open a sketch in the right plane. And here let's go to display style and select this one, hide and lines visible. And now here we'll start with a center line. We'll make it just like this. And then let's make here a center point arc. Okay, something like this. Select this arc with this edge and select here make a radial. And now we'll select line and we we'll start from here just like this. Okay, and back to this point. Make these two lines parallel. And now it's more dimension, let's define them from this point to this center line. Here will be 50 millimeters. Okay, from this line to this center line. Here will be one, 125. Okay, this line here will have 25. Nice. Let's select this line and make it horizontal if it's not already. Okay, let's see. And now from this point to this line. Here will be 200 millimeters. Nice, and we can select this and select here construction geometry. And now we'll go to features and we'll use revolved boss base command. This center line should be selected here and press OK. Nice, let's go to display style again. Select first one. OK. And now we'll have to, let's see a section view of this. Okay, here will be front plane, press OK. And now we'll have to cut this material inside here. And we'll have to make a hole through this part here. This is very easy. Let's select, let's close for this and then let's select a sketch. Let's open a sketch in the front plane. Actually, let's open a sketch in the right plane. Okay, let's make a center line. Make it horizontal. And now let's go to display style, select this one and here we'll make a circle. Select circle, we'll make here a circle. Then select this edge with this circle and select here Coradial and now go to features use revolved not this one, revolved cut and let's see here we'll make it 45 degrees actually 90 90 degrees ok and for direction 2 will be also 90 degrees. Let's close display style. Let's select first one and let's see a section view of this. Press OK. Perfect. Nice and I'll have to make the hole here and for this we'll open another sketch. Let's close section view and let's open another sketch in the right plane or in the front plane, it doesn't matter. Let's open it in the front plane. Let's activate hidden lines visible again. And let's make another center line. We'll make it vertical. Okay, and then select line. And we'll make the next sketch here. 
just like this and then select this line this edge with this line and select here make aligner and now we'll go to features and we'll use revolved cut and this center line should be selected here press it ok let's select first one here and this is perfect let's apply a fillet inside here so select fillet let's try with radius 10 it's ok press it ok and now let's make the next comp the next parts here first we'll have to make six holes so we'll open a sketch let's open a sketch on this face ok and here we'll make a point so select point we'll make a point just like this and then with smart dimension we'll have to give a dimension from this point to this one and here will be 100 millimeters ok then select this point with this one select here make vertical and now we'll exceed this sketch we'll go to hole wizard and we'll select here hole I saw drill size the size will be 21 and here we can keep up to next and go to positions 3d sketch place the hole press it ok and now right click and hide this sketch and now we need five more of them go to this arrow select from here circular pattern here we'll select the direction will be this edge here will be six and here the feature will be this hole nice press it ok and now we have all the holes now we we'll have to make this part here and at the end we're gonna make this rib so first let's make this as we can see here will be an extruded cut will be a square with the sides 20 millimeters so let's do it let's open a sketch in the right plane and here we'll make we'll select center rectangle ok and we'll make one right here select this point with this one and select here make vertical and now it's more dimension we'll have to define this this line here will have 64 and this line here will have 20 ok and now we'll select this line with this point and we'll select here coincide nice now as we can see this is in the middle so we'll go to features we'll use extruded boss base command and first we'll select here instead of blind up to next and then we'll go to direction 2 we'll select the same thing up to next press it ok nice and now we'll have to make the hole here so open a sketch and here we'll make a rectangle center rectangle make these two lines equal and now dimension one of them with the dimension 20 millimeters press it ok go to features use extruded cut and here instead of blind we'll select up to next and press ok nice and easy and now we'll have to make the rib so we'll have to open another sketch in the front plane and here let's make the next sketch let's select arc center point not center point let's select three point arc we'll make an arc from this edge until this edge just like this select this arc here and this edge select here make tangent and now we'll select smart dimension and we'll give a dimension for this arc the radius will be 65 and now we'll select line and we'll make here a line about 10 millimeters up and then we'll make another line just like this and let's give a dimension for, for this line so from this line to this edge will be let's say 0 
millimeters okay and everything should be okay now if you don't make this line here and this one the rib will not gonna work so now go to features and use rib and here will be 12 millimeters be careful for this arrow to go on this side and now press it ok and everything is good now we'll have to use mirror to mirror this rib on this other side so select mirror and here we'll select right plane and here features to mirror and we'll select this rib press ok nice and this is it this is it this is the body for a safety valve thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next tutorial and if you like it you can leave a like you can subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this and you can leave a comment with your opinion thank you and see you next time